Hello, I'm Utsav, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Cape Town. Today, I'm going to show you how to troubleshoot problems when you are trying to connect to an Amazon Relational Database Service instance. Let's get started. Note that I have already configured an Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL instance, and I will be connecting from an Amazon Elastic Compute Cloud instance that's configured in the same VPC as the Amazon RDS for PostgreSQL instance using the primary user. Before connecting to the RDS instance, let's verify the status of the RDS instance from the console to be sure that it's in the available state. We will also confirm the endpoint of the instance, cross-check the specific port number of the RDS instance, and confirm the master username. To connect to the RDS instance, I will first log into the EC2 instance and try to connect to the RDS instance through a PSQL client. It's best practice to always use the RDS endpoint instead of the IP address. If there is no client software, such as the PSQL or MySQL client to connect to the RDS engine, we can test the connection by using the telnet or nc command. As the connection times out for using telnet or PSQL, let's check the RDS instance security group and confirm that there's the required inbound entry that allows the connection from the EC2 instance. To be sure that the required entry is not present, let's check the EC2 instance IP address from the EC2 console and then add the inbound rule in the security group of the RDS instance. Now let's test the connection again. The connection works from the PSQL client as well. Let's now test the connection using our laptop or local machine or workstation. Before connecting from the local laptop, we now know that we must add the required inbound rule in the security group of the RDS instance, as we saw in the test that we made with the EC2 instance previously. Let's make the required change in the security group and see if the connection works. Now let's try to connect. We can see the connection is failing. Let's check the RDS console. Here we can see that the instance is configured with public accessibility set to no. When connecting from the laptop, the connection is made over the internet. To connect, we can set the option of public accessibility to yes to allow connection from a local machine. Let's make the required modification. After the modification is completed, let's now try to connect again. We can see that it works now. In many scenarios, because of compliance reasons, you might not be able to set public accessibility to yes. If this is your scenario, you can either use an EC2 instance as a bastion host for SSH tunneling. Note that if you use this solution, the EC2 instance must be in the same VPC as the RDS instance. Or you can use site-to-site -site VPN or AWS Direct Connect to connect to private RDS instances. And now you know how to troubleshoot problems when you are trying to connect to an RDS instance. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.